Good morning, good morning members. And each and every person that is logged in via our social media platforms as well as on YouTube. My name is Regan Allen and I'm the chairperson for the Standing Committee on Community Safety, Cultural Affairs and Sport. We are here today to finalize the nominations for the Western Cape Cultural Commission as well as the Western Cape Language Committee. Before we commence further, I will allow members of the committee to introduce themselves for the record. But with us as well is our procedural officer, Mr. Wasi Matthews, as well as Ms. Mary Ann Burgess, as well as IT support that is here. Members, I will allow you to introduce yourself for the record. It is now 8.01 on the 12th of November, 2021. Good morning, Chairperson uh, Gillian Bosman, and good morning, colleagues. Good morning, Chair. Um, Wendy Philander standing in for Member Porter this morning. Good morning, Chair. Good morning to the entire committee and staff present. My name is Ayanda Barnes, member of the Standing Committee. Good morning, Chair and members. My name is Mesuli Kava, alternate member to the committee. Good morning, members. In terms of our program for today, um, as you would be aware, we have had engagement in terms of the shortlisting for the Western Cape Cultural Commission, as well as the Language Committee. We've been briefed. We've also had an initial meeting after the briefing from the department. And I note that Member Philander is standing in for Member Bota. Um, welcome to uh, Member Kama here as well. Uh, Member Kama would be aware that in terms of permanent members um, that is able to then score accordingly. Um, however, um, input and um, comment is accepted from members of of the provincial parliament. So thank you so much for um, for all the members that are here and we will be keeping a close eye on if any other member do join as well. In terms of the of the state of um, in terms to to proceed today. Um, the committee uh, members would be aware that the, that the committee extended the deadline to the 10th of September 2021 because we have not received at that time sufficient um, nominations. And I would want to again remind members that all the documentation that was received by um, the committee will be vetted by the department and the Western Cape Cultural Commission require 14 members and the language committee require 11 members. For Cultural Commission, we have duly received 45 nominations and for the Language Committee, we have duly received 21 nominations. I will again want to thank our Procedural Officer who has been extremely diligent in providing us with the necessary information, the information pertaining to the nominations as well as providing us with the necessary um, with the necessary guidance and help in terms of the MS Teams platform. And under this particular committee on MS Teams, under the file tab, all the relevant, um, for example, all the relevant um, documentation pertaining to the nomination would be listed under the relevant entity's name with the um, um, with the uh, with the additional. Um, I'm going to read the full name, um, so it will state the Western Cape. Um, it will state culture, and then it will highlight. Um, it will then state WCCC nominations dash September. And those were all provided to us during the month of September already. Members, as a way forward, um, I do know that we have received a list via an Excel spreadsheet as well. 
with the relevant name of the nominee then listed with a number. In order for us to proceed today, could we potentially, um, the first option is that we could potentially um, list applicant number one and we can discuss the nomination and reach consensus or we are able to then accordingly rank that particular nominee between a figure of one to five. I would take input from members at this stage. We would want to conclude our, our committee today within the two hours and I sincerely trust that the time allocated would be sufficient so that we are able to then um, take the process forward by submitting the relevant nominees to the department so that the part so that the, the, um, the department is able to then vet and then formalize um, um, finalize their part in terms of the minister's role in appointing these members i will take input from members at this stage Members, are you able to hear me? Yes, we can, Chair. Yes, Chair, we can hear you. Okay, can I just ask a, a question of clarity, Chair? I think at some point I lost you. Uh, if I heard you correctly, Chair, you were saying that now we are in the process of doing the shortlisting, preparing for minister for the appointment. Can I just be clarified before we move forward? Thank you, Chair. Yes, that is correct. Um, in terms of our role, um, the committee will duly advertise the, um, um, the vacancies and in terms of the board's term coming to an end, the committee then duly advertised and that advertising process was discussed in our committee. Um, and the means that we took in terms of advertising, we then received a number of nominees via our procedural officer. So the ad would have stated that nominees needed to contact um, the committee via the procedural officer. So for cultural commission, we have received 45 nominees. The board consists of 14 members. In terms of the language um, um, committee, um, we require on the board 11, um, but we have received 21 nominees. And those nominees um, um, is listed in the MS Teams folder, which has been circulated um, way in advance. So I do want to thank members for taking the time to also peruse the documentation and the nominees in order for us to conclude today's activities of shortlisting so that we are able to then um, provide the minister with a list of, of the nominees um, that we have shortlisted and then the minister will ultimately then appoint after they have conducted their own vetting process. Are you covered, Member Barnes? Yes, Chair, I am covered. I think uh, my next question will come after you, you finalize your, 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 your briefing of us. Thank you, Chair. Great. Thank you so much. Members, um, like I've stated, um, we are able to, because we have been, um, that we have been provided with the relevant information, we have conducted our own um, assessments in terms of the CVs and the nomination forms that we were uh, provided with, and which I state again is, has been uploaded um, during the month of September. And if we open our Excel spreadsheet under the Western Cape Cultural Commission, all members would be aware that we have applicant number one.
in terms of the nominees application and the nomination that were received. Is there any input for applicant number one, Western Cape Cultural Commission? Thank you, Wasim. Members, Wasim has shared a Excel spreadsheet. Um, the one point that we can conduct is where we find consensus amongst the committee members, which might be more fruitful for us this morning, Member um, Philander and then Member Barnes. Thank you very much, Chair. Chair, just the question of, of clarity. We are busy with the shortlisting process, and as you have rightfully mentioned, um, had the opportunity to peruse the various um, applicants, and I guess now the next process will be for the committee to score accordingly and then ultimately get um, to the 14 um, shortlisted candidates in terms of the Cultural um, Commission. Chair, I also note on the spreadsheet that there is five categories that we need to score. What, um, perhaps I missed it, but what are those categories that we um, wish to score and then ultimately get to the total to get the shortlisted 14 candidates? Um, if you can just provide clarity. Thank you, Chair. Thank you so much, Member Philander. Um, those um, listed um, under E2I um, wouldn't necessarily be categories. Um, it would be the members of the committee. For example, if RA was under E, um, that would be my score and I score the first applicant um, to be three out of five or five out of five, for example. And then under tab F, um, it would have been GB for uh, member Gillian Postman, for example. But in Thank terms you. of but in terms of the ad um, that was circulated, um, we have received the nominees. Um, in terms of the of the ad that we have um, published across social media as well as in various newspapers, member Barnes. Thanks, Jay. Thank you, Chair. Member Philander co partly covers me. I wanted to check as to how much for language committee because I heard Member Philander speaking of 14 members, to, uh, 14 applicants to be shortlisted for, for, for cultural commission. Now the next one will be checking the language committee. Also, my last one would be are all members doing the scoring or is it just a few of us? Can that be, to be just clarified for me before we move forward? No problem at all, Member Barnes. In terms of the um, in terms of the composition for the Western Cape Cultural Commission, that board consists of 14 members. And then for the language committee, that board consists of 11 members. However, um, I am cautious in terms of the department's role that will still be conducted as well. And after that vetting process, um, if we merely provide the department with 14 and 11 names respectively, we could ultimately then hamper the process should any vetting process indicate that information um, that was provided to the committee was either inaccurate or false. Hence, I would want us to lean um, towards being extremely cautious in this regard because time uh, um, during this um, constituency period, I have engaged um, the minister and we are pressing for time in terms of, of, of the board and the board's new term needing to kick in. 
So in terms of us moving forward, um, I would recommend that we make sure that we not merely recommend 14 and 11 names respectively, but we provide the department with a bigger amount so that the department is able to then conduct their own vetting pr process. And I want to repeat, um, because the nominees that were received, um, for example, the person should be residing in the Western Cape and should any person during the last 30 days, for example, have moved um, to Johannesburg, then that person in terms of the requirement of residing in the Western Cape, um, then won't qualify. Um, so that process will be undertaken duly by the department and the credentials, um, the previous boards that they have served on, um, education, all of the of, of the CVs will be vetted and then the department will then ultimately um, provide the minister um, with that list and the committee will then um, at the end also receive um, the list of of approved and appointed board members. Are you covered member bonds? Yes, Chair, I'm covered with a request also that you give us a recommendation onto the amounts that you think would be suitable for, for this meeting. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, uh, I didn't see um, Member Kama. Member Kama has assisted in terms of the Western Cape Liquor Authority before where we have conducted similar processes. Member Kama? No, no, thanks, Chair. You know, uh, I, I'm thinking, yeah, I, I, I view the clarity of Member Philande earlier uh, as a guidance than a clarity. You know what, Chair? When, when, when we, we should list, we need to show some uh, fairness and in terms of what would have determined our scoring. So, so, so we need to determine a criteria, and I think in your remarks that you were making now, you were trying to touch on these things. Even if you say maybe we first look at the, we can even use the advert, by the way, or in terms of the requirements. So people have done already. They they've checked this. Um, I mean the, the 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 applications already, so you know these people. But you then at least have an agreement that you are using a particular criteria. So that if someone tomorrow uh, challenges the process as to why they were not shortlisted, you are able to say we're doing scoring. But the question would be what determined your scoring? So, so, so I think the issue of the criteria to do the scoring is much more important to show the fairness of the process uh, uh, so that it's not a matter of member bands, for example, uh, 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 likes a particular uh, a candidate, which is uh, Mesuli Kama, and then scores uh, the maximum, you know. So it it it, it must have a sense of guidance, and 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 that can, uh, uh, we, because members know. So you can just choose choose one or two or three or four, uh, 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 one of the in terms of the listed requirements, and then we say maybe per requirement you do your scoring on your own. Per requirement you 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 say uh, maybe it's three points, three points, three points. And then members do it on their own and give the final, uh, 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 I mean, score, which will be captured in the spread in the spreadsheet. Thanks, mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Member Kama. Uh, members, I will then provide a way forward. Um, the scoring will then be out of five. In terms of the requirements that is listed for cultural um, commission, you will note that uh, that the nominees must be 21 years of age and permanent residence in the Western Cape. So that is one point that we need to look out for in the CV and then be representative as far as possible of the cultural diversity of, of, uh, of the cultural diversity of the people of the Western Cape. They must be able to speak at least two of the official three languages and have knowledge um, as per the denomination of cultural matters and must actively contribute to the development, um, promotion and preservation of culture in relation to the citizens of the Western Cape. The nominees must further um, have knowledge of and or experience in any of the following. And those listed categories um, is in the ad. So on that note, 
we will then, um, um, I trust that members would have the ad ready on their side as well. Um, but if we go to the Excel spreadsheet of on cultural commission, the first applicant is listed in our spreadsheet. The scoring will be out of five. I will kickstart to ascertain that I have per uh, member, member Bosman. Chairperson, just being mindful of the comments raised by member Kama now, I think we must also not take for granted that those um, viewing this um, process on YouTube would be aware of what the advert says and what the criteria is. And although we know it and we've done the scoring accordingly, looking at the sort of the scope of the experience of the candidates, I think it might be useful for the record if you just outline briefly for members of the public um, and for the practitioners um, interested in this process, um, what the criteria would be just in the interest um, of sort of answering and fulfilling the request by Member Kama. Thank you, Chair. Thank you so much. That is highly valuable. Members, we are now at the point where, where we are about to commence the scoring of nominees and to those that are viewing online and that have joined us here on MS Teams as a committee for community safety, cultural affairs and sport, we have approved an advert which was duly circulated in our regional papers as well as via social media. That particular ad called for nominees to be appointed uh, that um, that suitable nominees be appointed to the two respective um, boards here in the Western Cape. The first one in terms of the Western Cape Cultural Commission. We have received, to those that are viewing, we have received 45 nominees to, to potentially serve on the Western Cape Cultural Commission um, on that entity and the requirements for the WCCC is that nominees must be South African citizens or at least 21 years of age and permanent residents of the Western Cape. They must be representative as far as possible of the cultural diversity of the people of the Western Cape and have full command of at least two of the three official languages of the Western Cape. They must have knowledge of cultural matters and must actively contribute to the development, promotion and preservation of culture in relation to the citizens of the Western Cape. The ad further stated that nominees must have knowledge of and or experience in any of the following business studies, marketing and management, knowledge of understanding of cultural diversity, cultural history, social anthropology, performing arts and languages, policy analysis, and interpretation, as well as a sound knowledge of financial management and compliance requirements in terms of the PFMA. We have for Cultural Commission duly received, like I've indicated, 45 nominees, and those nominees range across the various um, platforms in terms of the knowledge that they do possess in terms of the ad that was circulated. What the committee will now undertake is a scoring exercise based on the information that was provided to the committee, which was an application form as well as a signed nomination form, as well as CVs and documents that were attached thereto. In terms to move forward, each member each permanent member will be able to duly score out of five, a figure of half, one, one and a half, up until five. I repeat, we can score in a half, in a full number like one, two, three, or three and a half, until five. And I will suggest that once we have done the scoring, and we see the rank, we would then be able to ascertain what would be an ideal number of 
um, of candidates that we do nominate. I'm aware that we could potentially um, preempted and say that it will be 25 members, for example, and then number 25 and number 26 would have a similar score, then I would be more than happy to then increase that number to number 26. Um, I trust that that is in order. Member Barnes? Thank you, Chair. Without any delays towards the meeting, I'm just trying to check something. I'm mindful now that we are in a, a, a virtual platform that, and we are also on YouTube. I'm reminded by Member Bosman. What I want to hear, Chair, is that when we do this uh, short listing, can we do it reflecting, for example, number one, so that those that are viewing can also see how we got to the decision? Just a bit a briefing on each candidate so that everybody's on the same page as to what we are doing. Did we prepare as such or do we scorch uh, randomly on what we are having in front of us? Thank you, Chair. Members, um, I've just engaged our procedural officer. Um, the scoring will be between one and five. I think in terms of of, of the formula that um, that was used, I think that will be easier between one and five. I trust members will accept that. Um, uh, Member Barnes, the documents was was um, was circulated to each and every member during the month of September. That documents include a signed nomination form by a member of the of of a colleague of the nominee or a family member or someone that they have worked with closely. So on that CV, um, members would have had the time in order to peruse the relevant um, information and then make a note for themselves in terms of how they see that person could potentially fit into um, the board as a member that will then provide adequate assistance to the board as well as playing an active role. Does that cover for you? No, no, Chair. Actually, as I've said that I, Member Barnes, I am fine. I have the documentation. My question was on the one that is following us on YouTube, trying to see what are we doing? How are we going to assist that person to be on the same par as we are, the same level? Mm. Are we having something that will show this is Member Barnes that has applied residing in, in Beaufort West qualification? These are the, just a so short summary to bring them on par. I was just checking clarity on that for myself. I am covered. I've prepared. I am ready for the meeting. Thank you. Thank sir. you. So um, I will uh, um, I will address that now, Member Barnes. Thank you so much, Member Marie. I know no end. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Chair. Uh, sorry, I, you know, ESCOM always, they don't like Durbanville. I always have problems getting a signal. But be it as it may, I apologize for being late. I think uh, I would have loved to take part in it, but men Member Barnes put her finger on it. I don't think I will be able to uh, take part in the discussions uh, meaningfully because I wasn't part of this committee that uh, saw all the people's CVs. I will leave members with a parting shot. Do not give maximum votes for anybody who's not conversant in at least Afrikaans and one of the other languages. I stand on Afrikaans and I'll carry it through till 2024 election if they neglect Afrikaans. And I want to ask members to look at it Colored people and white people and even African people speak Afrikaans. They, they are members of our party and I could hear longer uh, members speaking Afrikaans. I want this uh, language to be respected and I don't want anybody in the language board that has no respect for Afrikaans or can't understand the language. Thank you. With that parting shot, I will have to excuse myself. I like to make a contribution. I don't want to be a face on a screen, but a voice, even in the wilderness. Thank you. Thank you, Member um, Marie. We will excuse you in terms of the notices that were sent. Um, you were duly added into um, all those correspondence, but we take your point and we wish you all of the best for your day and weekend ahead, sir.
Highly appreciate Thank you very much, Chairman, and good luck to all the members. I know they will all take decisions in the interest of the Western Cape as a whole, especially the Honorable Bosman. Thank you so much. Uh, Member Bosman, I see your hand is up. Chairperson, I just wanted to clarify and good morning to Member Maria. Did Member Maria just say that we must look at the Afrikaans because um, when he was on the campaign trail, he, they were members of his party. I'm not sure if I heard that correctly. No, I said that on the campaign trail of 2024, Afrikaans will continue to be a main issue. You can read into that whatever you like, but we have colored white and African members, and they speak Afrikaans in our meetings fluently. Don't think because somebody's black, you don't understand Afrikaans. Thank they do. Um, thank you so much, Mr. We are going to million proceed. Million. It is now 8.31. Um, I'm going to give a final direction on the way forward. Um, the criteria has, um, we have taken note of Member Marie's um, input, but the criteria as per the ad, that has been clearly outlined in terms of the languages. So thank you so much, Member Marie. In terms of moving forward, um, I am going to take um, Member Philander, your hand is up. Member Philander. It is in order, thank you, Chair. Um, I am gedek. I will give a comment in opzicht of Lid Marie's comment, but it is in order, thank you, Voorzitter. No, thank you. Um, um, thank you so much. And thank you, Member Marie, as well. Members, in order to proceed, I just want to get, um, um, I'm going to put something before the committee in terms of the nominees that we have received. Um, should uh, we can find consensus on this? Um, or we can um, then take it forward in terms of the surnames and the names of the nominees that were submitted to the to the committee. Is members um, satisfied that those names should be hidden or if those names should be public? So that once the spreadsheet is online and members give their input and their score based on the background work that they have conducted to check the applicant against the criteria. Uh, Chairperson, I think it should be public. Um, the Western Cape Cultural Commission is a public body and public mm. used to support it. So I don't think anybody who applied to serve as a member of the board would have any objection to at being known that they've applied. Thank you so much. Mr. Matthews, we have ventilated quite a bit this morning. Um, I would want us to, to proceed accordingly. Thank you so much. Um, we have the very first document. Uh, all the documents has been circulated to all the members. The very first applicant is Ms. L. Abrams. Um, so the very under D will be GB for Gillian Bosman. My score there for Ms. Al Abrams is a four. And then E will be Ayanda Barnes. Three, two. Member Philander, who is standing in for Member Bota, will be WP. Thank you very much, Chair. I'm uh, not sure whether I heard you correctly earlier, saying that only permanent members would be able to vote. Because you are duly standing in for, okay. for, for Member Bota with her full right, and that has been communicated and, and stated for the record. Thank you very much, Chair. Three and a half. Um, members, um, unfortunately, we will have to keep it with a specific score and not half due to the formula. <clears throat> thank you, uh, Chairperson. Four then. Thank you. And then for myself, it will be a three. Thank you so much, members. We will then promptly commence moving forward. We have MC Arendse, Mr. MC Arendse, 
we have perused all the documentation. In that same order, again, we will proceed. Member Bosman, Member Barnes, Philander, and then myself. Sorry, Chairperson, I'm just switching over from my phone to my computer because I'm viewing everything on my computer. Um, MC RNC, you said the candidate is? Yeah, um, that's great. It, it is a three from me. Members, if we can just go in that order again, because I firmly believe that members would be able to, um, to back up the score that they have provided because they have perused um, the CVs. Um, um, late last night, I was still conducting my final views as well on this. So we, we may proceed promptly in this regard. Member Barnes. It will be a four for me, Jay. Thank you. Three, Jay. Three for me there again. Then it is member PM, Ms. PM Bar. Members will note that during our, uh, when we peruse the documents, there's also a number of current board members that are reapplying. PM Bart, Member Bosman? It's a, a four from me for Ms. Bart. It's a three for me, Chair. Three, Chair. Thank you. Four. We have Mr. Barnes. We will promptly go forward in that regard. For Mr. C.G. Barnes or G.C. Barnes, it's a three for me. Thank you. Members, feel free to go in the order. It's a three. It's a three for me, Chair. Three, Chairperson. That is three for me as well. I am currently also working on two laptops to open the one as my Excel doesn't work on my on this particular. Um, it's day and then a Zeta note. Zeta note is a two for me. It's a three for me, Chair. Thank you. Three, Chair. That is two for me. <clears throat> we have Miss Kluter. Miss Kluter from um, Lambert's Bay is a two for me. It's a three for me, Chair. <laughs> two, Chair. Two as well. My side, we have Mr. Kibadu. Member, uh, Member Bosman, do I hear you? <laughs> Member Bosman? Uh, sorry, Chairperson, I think I lost you there for a minute. Uh, which candidate are we on? We are on Mr. On Miss, uh, Mr. Kibidu. Uh, J.W. Kibidu. It is a two for me. It is it's a four for me, Chair. Two, Chair. Two, my side as well. We then have Mr. Desai. Mr. Desai from my side is a two, Mr. R. Desai. It's a four for me, Chair. Um, chair for Mr. Desai, a two. Members, just give me one moment, moment to open my additional note. I put a hole for this, but um, <clears throat> I put a whole figure in here as well. I just want to check one thing. <clears throat>
I will keep mine at two. Chairperson, you just bear with me. My laptop just died because it wasn't plugged in. And I'm using Excel on my laptop and I'm speaking on my phone. So just give me one second. No problem at all. Um, that reminds me that I also need to get my laptop charger in. Members in this day and age of facilitating and engaging via via the internet and MS Teams, um, we have come a very, very long way. So thank you so much that we are able to, at this time, at least have our way forward. To those that are still viewing online, we are dealing with the Cultural Commission for the Western Cape. The Standing Committee on Cultural Affairs have received a list of nominees after an extensive um, advertising campaign to attract um, members of the public that meet a certain set of requirements to avail themselves to serve on the specific entity, the Western Cape Cultural Commission. Members of the committee has duly um, done their work in terms of, of, of analyzing the information, but also then checking the requirements um, that is listed in the ad against the CV and the nomination form that were received. We are heading, we are making headway and we are now on applicant number <coughs> Um, nine. Um, number nine. We are now on Ms. K. Dumbrell. K. Dumbrell is a three for me. A three for me as well, Chair. Three from me, Chair. You can keep that for me. Three as well. We are now at Ms. Faniche. Anisha, is a two for me? It's a four for me, Chair. <laughs> two, Chair. Two, my side as well. We have Mr. Felice. Sorry, Chair, Mr. Phillies is a three from me. A three for me as well, Chair. That will also be a three, Chair. That's a two, my side. We have then Miss Holloway. It's a two from me. It's a three for me, Chair. Three, Chair. Two, my side. Then we have... Mr. Hope. Chair, um, I now have a dead computer, so you might have to come back to me. It is charging. No I problem. We can cheap. continue. Thank you. <clears throat> we now on Mr. Hope. Um, that is applicant number. 13. Uh, chair. chair. All the way from Robertson. Yes, I. <clears throat> um, you can go on with member bonds. Uh, given that everything is being screened, you can keep on scoring until uh, member Bossman comes back. Okay. Because, perfect. We can, because we can track whatever I'm entering here. It shouldn't be a problem. Thank you so much for that clarity. Um, members, we are proceeding member bonds. We are on. Applicant 13, Mr. Hope. Um, He's all the, way, all the way from Robertson. That is a three my side. Three J. Thank you so much. We are now on Mr. Isaacs. Member Barnes, are you there? Three J. Mine is three as well. Correct, Chair. Con concur. We are now on Mr. Jama, Z Jama. 
A five, Chair. Mine is a four, Mr. Jama. Three, Chair. Thank you so much. Next is Miss Jansen. Four, Chair. Mine is three. Three, Chair. The next is Mr. Joka. So four, Chair. Mine is a. Just give me one moment. I'm just opening. I have made a note where what is. <coughs> I have tried to figure out some of the handwriting. I've made a note, double check. Um, mine is a mine is a three. Three chair. We now on Mr. Krieger, Miss Krieger, L. Krieger. It's a three for me, chair. <coughs> That's a three my side. As three, well, two, three. we now on um, Liisa, Li Mr. Liisa or Mr. Laser. Please, if any member of, um, if if any nominee is logging in, we are trying our best to pronounce the surnames as best as we can. Member Barnes. It's a three, Chair. Member Philander. Three, Chair. Just give me one moment. <coughs> Mine is a three as well. And then it is Miss Lopesha. Miss Lopesha is a two for me. A three for me, Chair. Member, ba uh, Member Philander. Member Philander, are you with us? Member Philander, are you with us? My sincere apologies, Chair. I just got cut out. Are we now at Miss Lopesher? That's correct, yes. A three chairperson. We are then on Mr. Mavu Mengwana. Do I have that correct? Yes, Chair, it's a four. Just give me one moment, my side. Um, Mine is a three. Three chair person. Um, Mr. Colli um, colleagues, I'm going to please ask your indulgence. I just double checked my side and because I've had halves in air as well. Um, and my note, let me one. Um, I think I'm leaning towards four on that particular candidate. Um, is mine, are you able to amend my one was seen? Thank you. We now have Umbotwe, Mr. Umbotwe. Four, 
five chair. Thank you so much, Member <coughs> Member Barnes. Do we have Member Bosman back already? Yes, Chairperson. Um, I can enter scores. Uh, just remind me where we stopped with me. Um, I would um, one moment um, for me. Um, um, uh, both way is a four. Member Philander. Four chair. Um, thank you so much. Um, our procedural officer will then go up. Um, it's all public. We are on number 13, Mr. Hope, and then we will allow member Bosman to go down and provide his specific um, score um, for 13 until the next um, nominee where all the committee members have. Okay, Chairperson for Mr. Hope, uh, it's a four. Then Mr. Isaacs, P. E. Isaac, number 14 is a three. Uh, Jama is a three. Jansen is a three. Joka, a three. Kriege, a three. Number 19, Lesa, a three. Uh, Lopesha is a three. And then number 21, um, uh, Mr. Mava Mungwana is a three. And then for Mr. Mandla Mbotwe, it's a five. Uh, Mr. Mohammed, Ms. Mohammed is a two. Mulitsani is a two. Moses is a two. Mutswana is a two. Sorry, uh, Chair, we stopped, um, we stopped at... Mohammed now, so we can continue with the rest of the members. Sorry, Member Bosman. Okay. Uh, so we can Thank carry on so now much. and then, um, yeah. Um, so we will carry on with Member Barnes. We are now on applicant number 23. 23, it's a three for me, Chair. Three, Chairperson. That's a three, my side as well. We now on member, on, on Miss on Mr. Moletsani. It's a five chair for me. Three chair. Moletsani is a two for me chair. Mine is a two as well. We then on member on Mr. Moses. Chair, are we keeping the same um, Order with Member Bosman, Barnes, Philander, yes. then you. Okay. Yes, it's a okay. Thank you. Sorry, Chair Moses is a two for me. I was on mute there. No problem. Two for me as well, Chair. Two, Chair. That is two my side as well. I have, we have noted that it was further a late submission. Um, we have then Mr. Umsudwana, Mr. L.B. Umsudwana. It's a two from me. He's all the way from Beaufort West. Mine is two that side as well, if I can give my, my one in at this time. Two chair. Five, Chair. Thank you so much. We then on Ms. Mutin. Uh, for Ms. Bernadette Mutin, I have a four. Thank you so much. Three, Chair. Four, Chair. Mine is a four as well. We then have Mr. Myers. Or Mr. Martin Myers, mine is a five. Three, mine chair. Four chair. I'm four. And then we have 
Let me go down on the one laptop. Then we have Mr. Naja. That's a three for me. Three for me, Chair. Three, Chair. Mr. Naja is a four for me. <laughs> then we have Miss Ngandana. Miss Ngandana is a two for me. It's a three a for two. me. Sorry, sorry. Two J. Thank you so much. That is everyone's. Was him? You caught everyone's. One day, OK, cool. Um, colleagues, we are doing much better um, in terms of the process. Thank you so much. We then have um, Mr. Nokwaza. Uh, Chair, uh, sorry, I, I don't have, I can't uh, have the hand function show here because I'm sharing the screen. Perhaps you could just prompt each member's name uh, because sometimes you yourself are ch you're changing the order. So if you could just say member Bosman, member Barnes, and so on, because uh, thank, thank you yeah. so much. Because sometimes um, you're giving the score first and it's it's, it's upsetting the order. <laughs> yes, no, thank you so much. I am uh, I will raise a point of order against myself. So, um, thank you so much. I now note member Bosman. Like the person in the candidate we're on is number 31, is it? No That's correct. It's a That's three correct. for me. Member Barnes? It's a five, Chair. Three, Chair. Elander? And then a three for me. Then it is th number 32, Insiki uh, in Lelo, Mr. In Insiki Lelo, Mr. Boseman? That's a one for me, Chair. Four for me, Chair. Two, Chair. That's a two my side as well. Let's break up. Ms. Reika is a three for me. Three, Chair. Three, Chair. That's a three my side as well. Then we have Mr. Ridgeway. I see again member Bosman. The Ridgeway is a three for me. A two, a two for me, Chair. Three, Chair. A three for me as well. Then we have Miss Sami, Q Sami. Member Postman, I see you. Member Bosman. <laughs> is Member Bosman no longer? Oh, there, Mr. Bo um, Member Bosman is back. We are now on number 35, Q Sami. I note Member Bosman. I note member Barnes. I note member Philander. Three, Chair. That's a three for me as well. And we will get back to member Barnes and member. Sorry, Chair, person. I'm sorry, Chair. Member Barnes, I note you. It's a three for me, Chair. Thank you. Thank you so much. And then member Bosman. Sorry, Chair, I'm not sure how I got kicked out there. Number 35, Q Sami is the three for me. Thank you so much. Um, uh, Member Bosman, you can keep it going with number 36. See you, Paul. It's Mr. a three Ince. for me. Thank you so much. Member Barnes. A three for me as well, Chair. Three, Chair. 
just give me one moment. I have a half again for this particular. Just need to double check one item. Um, I will keep minus three. <laughs> Next up, we have Mr. C. Bluck. I see member Bosman. Mr. C. Bluck is a 3.5 for me, and I need to adjust that. Sorry. So that is a three. Sorry. Thank you so much. I then see member, Bo uh, member Barnes. That's a three for me, Chair. Round it off as a three also, Chair. Thank you. I will keep mine at a three. Um, colleagues, my sincere apologies for, for bringing in the halves earlier on. Um, we then have Mr. J. van Pappendorp. Member Bosman, I see you. It's a three from me, Chair. It's a two from me, Chair. Three, Chair. Mine is a three. We then have Mr. Van Rensburg. It's a three from me. It's a three for me, Chair. Three, Chair. I just need to double check one thing my side. Um, <clears throat> someone's birds are chirping in the back. Mine is a two. <clears throat> we then have Miss Van Roy. Member Bosman, I see you. That's a two from me, Chair. It's a two from me, Chair. I Three, see Chair. Mine is a three. We then have we are nearing the end. We have Mr. Vollenhoven. Mine is a two. Mine oh, sorry, 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 Member Bosman. Um, I'm going to do again. Mine is a two as well. Um, Chair, I know you're saying we're nearing the end. I was going to say, can we take a comfort break? But I see we've only got a few. Um, oh, uh, we can take a five minute break after this one before we get into the last 21 because we have the process um, wrapped up for now. Um, so thank you so much. Um, uh, Member Barnes, we are on Wallenhoven and Member Bosman gave his score. Okay, Chair, we are on Wallenhoven. Uh, I'm three, Chair. Two, Chair. I'm a two as well. We have Mr. Frachum. For Mr. Frachum, it is a two from me. Member Barnes. It's a two chair. Two chair. Mine is a two as well. We then has have Miss Wannenberg. Um, a chairperson. Um, can I ask just a question of clarity on Ms. Vandenberg? If it's the correct Ms. Vandenberg that, that I have in mind, Ms. Celeste Vandenberg, the actress. Um, um, I believe so, yes. Um, I, um, my question would be, can we nominate this candidate um, in light of, if we look at the form, on the handbook of appointed persons to the boards of state and state controlled institutions, no person employed by the public service or public institutions may be appointed to the Western Cape Cultural Commission. Um, that is a very interesting observation. I have Ms. noted Ms. that- Ms. is a councillor in the city of Cape Town as of the last election. 
she's going to be sworn in at the council meeting next week if I'm. Yeah, um, if I'm and, not I, um, and I do note that um, when um, on my notes, I have here that um, that the applicant served on the WCCC in the past. That um, let me just open the the CV. Um, let me open. I, I stated in my notes that the person has been appointed to the to the relevant committee before. Um, let me just but double check. She, she wasn't a, she wasn't a public representative then. She was only a candidate in this election now, and she is being sworn in next week. Um, uh, members, um, I note the information provided by uh, member Bosman um, in order to proceed um, and double checking the nominees that we have listed um, before. Um, may I request that we take this one under advisement um, and then see to provide a score and if it comes to a point where um, the person meets the, the threshold of the amount of people that we are nominating, then we can always highlight that particular one um, to get clarity from the minister's office. Will that be in order? Member Barnes? No, Chair. I think the rule is very much clear. Actually, Member Postman is helping us because uh, if uh, the person in question we are speaking about is going to become a councillor, then it means in the committee we are going to have a councillor with, which defeats yeah. the rules of having a person as such here. So I think we should follow tune to what Member Postman is saying that let's just keep unless uh, the person is not going to become a councillor because it's quite obvious when you become a councillor you cannot be part of, of yeah. this one. Thank you, Chair. Okay, um, thank you so much. We will then, Member Bosman and Member Barnes, thank you for being so honoured on this Friday. We are now on Miss Weston. Miss so Weston. We say we're not scoring Miss Vandenberg, or are we going to leave that up to the minister when they do their checks? Yeah, when they do their checks. That's a okay. So we're still scoring Miss Vandenberg. Um, I would prefer to then not score at this time. Okay. Uh, for Ms. Uh, because uh, the IEC already gazetted um, those um, those names. Yeah, I don't want I don't want people. Um, you know, um, Miss Vandenberg is a beloved actress on St. Worcester, and Arden play. She plays on the Gertie Arden play. I don't want the members of the public to say that we're attacking the, the actress. No, I uh, yeah, We she's a beloved family member to many people who find. Um, the program enjoyable. Thank you, Member Bosman. Um, can we then go on to Member Bosman, Miss Weston? It's a three for me. Member Barnes? It's a three, Chair. And the Member Philander? It's a three for me as well. Last in this line is Mr. Winster. Uh, Mr. Winster is a three for me, Chair. Member Barnes. It's a three for me, Chair. Thank you. Three, Chair. Mine is a three as well. Members, on that note, we have now accordingly, prior to this meeting, conducted our own scoring and we have perused um, the CVs of the nominees that we have received. I'm delighted that for Cultural Commission, we have received 45 nominees, which shows that there is an interest from members of the public and the community to play an active role in terms of the Western Cape Cultural Commission. We are duly, the minister will duly um, appoint a board of 14 members. I am more than happy to, um, to submit a list of at least between 25 
and 50 so that we could have a, at least a 50% increase on the particular um, allocation. Uh, member, uh, Mr. Wasi Matthews? Uh, Chairperson, I think we just need to check that uh, there is a maximum amount of names that you can submit. Okay. Um, so if you just give me a chance to check that, I think it is 20, but just allow me a chance to double check. Okay, perfect. So so members, on that note, we it's now 10 past. We're going to take a quick five-minute breather, um, and we should be able to do um, the language committee um, directly thereafter. Uh, because we are in the swing of it now, we have 21 nominees there. Um, Chairperson? Yes, Member Bosman. Can I ask that we make that a 10 minute break? I'd also like to make a cup of tea, please. Oh, uh, members, can we make it at 9.20? It just went 11 now. Can we make it 9.20? We are back. Agreed, Chair. Thank you so much. Mem um, Wasim, is that in order um, with you? Uh, that's fine. Um, uh, I'll I'll make my points uh, after the break, uh, Chairperson. Thank you so much, members. At 9.20, we will be back. Thank you for your commitment here this morning and for engaging. Thank you.
Good day, members. It is now 9.20. May I get an indication that members are back online? I'm back, Chair. Thank you so much, Member Barnes and Member Bosman. I'm back, Chair. I'm also, I'm here. Thank you so much. Members, in terms of the legislation, the committee is duly legislated in order to submit 20 names to the minister for her approval and determination on a 14 member board for the cultural commission as a committee briefly we have undertaken our background work prior to today's meeting we have accordingly ranked candidates based on the nomination forms and the supporting documents that were submitted our procedural officer will now share the rank on the screen as per the scores, members will note that we have a list of 20 names in the top 20. And as soon as we get to, as he's going, as our procedural officer is going down, as soon as we get to Mr. to Ms. Reiker, Ms. Reika is number 20. However, we have Ms. Sami, Mr. Siupol, Mr. Van Blurk, Ms. Weston, and Mr. Winster scoring the same amount. In order for us to move forward, um, I would recommend that we ideally adjust our scores um, as we are only able to put 20 names forward. Um, so, um, can so, I, um, can so, I ask, um, so, yeah? Can I ask just for the record, are you able to read to us the top 20 names? Um, um, Wasim, are we able to go to the top again? Number one is Mr. M. Umbotwe. Number two, Mr. Myers. Three, Mr. Jama. Ms. Mutin. Ms. Abrams. Ms. Bart. Mr. Hop. Mr. Mavu Menguana. Mr. Nokwaza. Mr. Orenser, Ms. Jansen, Mr. Joko, Mr. Joka, Mr. Najar, Mr. Barnes, Ms. Dumbrell, Mr. Isaacs, Ms. Krieger, Mr. Uh, Mr. Laser, and then Mr. Mr. Le um, and then Mr. Mol Moletsane. That um, and then Miss Reiker would be in the top 20. Um, Wasim, I would assume it would be on alphabetical order that those that are scored the same are ranked in that fashion. Is that correct? Uh, yes, Chairperson. The scoring is exactly the same. So um, it's just the uh, surnames that's separating it, the alphabet alphabetical order that's separating it. <laughs> Members, can I get an indication of, of your sentiment at this stage? <clears throat> Chairperson? Yes. Uh, am I correct in saying there are 14 um, vacancies, if I can call it that, yes, available? So we have resolved to put a list of 20 forward. 
Um, is there any harm in putting those names after Mr. Ra or rather Ms. Raika also forward? Would we, would um, the minister or whoever adjudicates this list afterwards even come to, to 20? Um, Mr. Matthews, are you able to give direction in that regard? Uh, yes, Chairperson. Um, the uh, member Philander is correct that the, the, the cap full capacity for the commission is 14. So ideally, uh, you'd want that to be filled. Um, and ideally, you would want to give the minister um, sufficient uh, number of persons to fully capacitate the board. However, the legislation says 20, maximum 20 names can be submitted. Uh, you don't have to submit 20 names. It is just that um, the best case scenario would be to allow the minister the most leeway to um, appoint a board that is fully capacitated. Uh, I'm not sure how that solves the five or six that are on the same scoring, uh, other than perhaps changing the scoring based on the CVs and uh, information. The other option is maybe just to submit the top 19 and uh, put the others on a reserve list in case uh, the vacancies uh, come up again. Uh, but it is entirely up to the, the members. The main thing that you need to know is that the maximum capacity for the board is 14 and the maximum names you can submit is 20. Thank you so much, Mr. Matthews. Uh, members, may I then recommend that we submit the first... <coughs> we don't even reach the um, the 20 the maximum 20 we first take the number um, um, the amounts that are clearly um, above all those that are listed um, with the same numbers and then we submit a supplementary list will that be in order mr matthews Um, yes, Chairperson, uh, I've actually noted now, just scrolling, it's up bonds. that it actually goes up until bonds. So that is one, two, so three, four, five, a large six. number of persons. Um, so the top 14 will be Najah, and then our supplementary list will then proceed from bonds up until Mr. Winster. Would that be in order with all members? Thank you, Member Philander, Member Bosman, and Member Barnes. Is that in order your side? Um, Chair. It's, it's in order with me, Chair. No problem. I just want to be clarified. Uh, it's the last one, Rika. Um, no, um, it's Winster. All um, in order, Chair. Thank you so Chair. much. Chair. Um, so what then is the actual name num list of number of names that you're submitting because you can't exceed the 20? Which means those on the supplementary list, would that then just be, that would then have to be sent uh, separately to the minister and not, this is, uh, she will have to exhaust the main list completely. It's a bit of a, I'm, I'm not sure if Mr. Daza maybe wants to come in. I just don't want the committee to, uh, uh, submit more than 20 names uh right. thinking that if you submit two lists that is uh, that you're not submitting more than 20 names if that makes sense hmm. member bosman i see your hand uh chairperson i prefer that we submit 20 names on one list um in my experience um the ministers tend to look for opportunities to appoint um people um that they have experience with as well. It could be that there's somebody that the minister likes on the reserve list, and that person then gets chosen over the top uh, 20 that we've said. So my proposal would be, um, if there's five people with the same score, we might take a few minutes now just to um, evaluate um, those five people and see whether any of us would be open to changing our scores on them. If not, then we can submit 19 names. Um, but I think what we my my first prize would be that we send one list and not a reserve list. Okay, thank you so much, members. We will then commence back to bonds. Is there any member willing to reevaluate their mark for Mr. Bonds?
Chair, would it be helpful if we then go into the the CV, perhaps? Um, I'm just yes. going back to that tab. Um, um, I'm also opening my side. Cultural Commission. So just as a summary chair, uh, Mr. C.G. Barnes was nominated by the Khrikwa um, National Conference, the Executive of Chiefs. I would have no problem with Mr. Barnes forming part of, of, of that list that we submit. We then go to Dumbrell. Yeah. Chairperson, I am um, very happy to adjust my score from Mr. Barnes from a three to a two, because I'm just noting from his CV that he does not have any governance experience besides serving on this one board. Thank you so and, much. And also, um, I'm not comfortable with the answer under risk management. It doesn't seem applicable. So. Thank you so much. That is noted, Mr. Matthews. Um, yes, Chairperson, if you allow me, perhaps just a, a quick revision of or keeping in mind the criteria uh, that would yeah. best suit and the skills and as well as covering the demographics uh, in terms of uh, language groups and, and so on. Uh, all those criteria that the department mentioned in the presentation to the committee um, that might, uh, like Member Bossman now used the, the, the example of governance. Uh, mm. That's a good that's a good way to um, distinguish maybe and altering some changes uh, to the scoring. No, thank you so much. I appreciate that, Member Bossman and Mr. Matthews. We will now go to Ms. Dumbrell. Members will be able to double check their score against as they have another view of the documentations that were received. Uh, Chairperson, I gave Ms. Dumbrells a three. I'm very happy to adjust that to a four, noting that she's also the current chair of the Appeals Committee for um, Heritage Western Cape. Thank you so much. That's in order with me. Um, as Mr. Matthews is adjusting the scores. You would be able to see online as well how it affects. So they will then go into the, Ms. Dabra will then go into the 20. Mr. Matthews, your hand. Uh, sorry, Chair, I think it's an old hand. No problem. Then Mr. Isaacs. All of these members received a three across the board. Zoom. Why am I not finding Mr. Isaacs my side? Ooh. I'm was he, I'm not finding Mr. Isaacs my side. Mr. Isaacs is the founder of the Mitchell Splain um, Music Academy. He founded that in 2014, and his involvement is, um, by the looks of these application forms, solely focused on um, the music industry and his work um, in the performing arts sector. He's got an N4, N5, and N6 certificate in financial management, and he's awaiting his diploma. He's also done a business course, and he's done an advanced music literacy course at Stellenbosch University. I'm just trying to see the nominee. I'm not sure. Let me just get to the bottom, sorry, and I can tell you who nominated him.
there's no details of who nominated him. Let me just, I found it my side as well. We have also not received um, adequate information in terms of risk management governance um, in the private sector, um, which was left blank on the application. I would then at this stage recommend that I then take my score to a two, Mr. Um, Mr. Matthews. I'll do the same chairperson. Then we have Ms. Krieger. We have received information in terms of the application form, the particular candidate was recommended by a former colleague. If I peruse the names of those above, um, I would then able, I would then feel comfortable making my score two there as well. Members, any other members more than welcome to also provide input, or we can commence to Miss Laser. Mr. L. Leisa. You're really struggling with the surname, hey? Yes, I'm so sorry. I'd how actually like to know how that is actually pronounced. Um, I think maybe we should just go with the, the formal title as, as Prince. Yes, Prince Liffey. Uh, Prince Liffey is from Easter River, the area where I found my wife. Um, he has indicated a number of based on the again, it is um, it would be my input that I would take my one down to two as well. If I consider those that are in the top 20, we have similar skills and experience. I will move mine down to a two as well, Chair, for the Prince. Thank you so much. Then we have Mr. Moletsan, um, uh, Moletsana. Also from Beaufort West. He manages an NPO and is a quiet chairperson, and he was nominated by. The choir chairperson of the church that he leads messengers of God. Any member wanting to give comment at this stage? Uh, chairperson, I'm just noting there's a, quite a large sort of difference between the scores. We go from two, five, three, two. Member Barnes? Any comment from you at this stage? 
Um, Chair, when it comes to Mr. Mulitsani, I think my view was the geographical spread and representation. Hence, you would note that my score is a bit up. Um, however, it's for the committee to make a decision and the knowledge that Mr. Mulitsani and his involvement in the arts and cultural sector within Beaufort West uh, that I've given a score of five, knowing that as a young person he's very much involved in youth activities and any 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 cultural uh, matter for that matter, he's one of uh, the persons that would represent a very young person um, 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 in, in that field. Thank you, Chair. Thank you so much. Let's go over that person for yeah. Chairperson, but um, we have to look at the information in front of us contained in the nomination form, don't we? Yes, that is correct. So if we look at the section that looks at um, sort of areas of particular experience, if we look at sort of Mr. Molatani's understanding or the nominator's understanding of risk management there, they speak of him being a close protection officer for the Beaufort West uh, Municipal Office. Um, there's nothing under policy drafting and analysis, nothing under governance in the public sector, and only some um, sort of notes on financial management, noting that he's currently the financial administrator for the choir. So in terms of the, the overall role of the Western Cape Cultural Commission and the um, competencies outlined in the presentation we got, um, we have to ask ourselves, does the, the candidate meet that requirement? Member Barnes, um, just to double check from your side, are you willing to keep it at the five or would you want to drop it? No, Chair, I'm maintaining my score. I'll keep it at five. I'm not dropping. Thank you, um, what we can do at this stage, members, we will continue and see where um, the end result leave us. Um, mem um, then we go to Ms. Raker. Ms. Reiker has a degree in psychology as well as project, um, as well as a diploma from a Bible college um, in terms of her application. She was nominated by, by a colleague. Um, she's from, she's from Worcester. I would at this stage, I would move my one to a two. I will join you there, Chairperson. Thank you so much. Then we will go to the next one is Q Sami. <clears throat> Ms. Q Sami. Um, one moment. Oh. Um. Ms. Q. Sami was is from District Six. I would move my one to a two there as well. Oh, colleagues, um, just give me one moment. Is there any other comment from from members? Um, I think Ms. Q. Sami is a. It states in her application relation to the nominee it's a fellow heritage western cape council member in the previous term um i think she nominated herself 
Nou, um, nou Dambrel um, um, nominated Q Sami. Any comment from members at this stage? Members, are you still there? Uh, we are, Chairperson. I note, I think my score for Ms. Kisami was a three. I'm very happy to adjust that um, to a four, uh, specifically noting the sort of specialized heritage experience and, um, and knowledge that the candidate has, as well as previous work on the Western Cape um, Heritage Commission. I will make mine a three then as well. We then go to Sue Paul. Mr. Matthews? Yes, Chair. Um, you actually moved your score back to what it originally was. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. So you didn't really. Um, Mr. Uh, Matthews, so I don't know we... if you are, based on Member Bosman's comment, if you increased your score. To what it was, was it or if you're looking to increase your score uh, to something more. Uh, it was, was a three, a, you changed a, it to a two, oh, and yes, then you so. changed it to a three after Member Bosman's comment. So I just want to uh, clarify with you. Um, so sorry, yes. You're moving it back the, or you're increasing it? Um, leave beyond. it at three. Leave mine at three. So sorry, I double checked um, her, uh, nom um, her nomination form. Um, colleagues, we are nearing the end for now. It's Mr. Sue Paul. Any comment? Mr. Sue Paul was nominated by, yes, quite a detailed. by Martin Alexander, by Martin Myers. Um, I'm just browsing. He has served on the Social Cluster Audit Committee. Members, are we able to leave that score as is and carry on and see how it pans out? Mr. Matthews, is that the old end? Uh, no, Chairperson. I just uh, want to make sure if I want to know if you want me to um, sort of rearrange uh, the numbers, uh, filter it so you can see the scores from highest to lowest, uh, because you don't want to now get into a position where you have Ten people on three point two five or two point seven five, um, and then you should have the same. Members, are we able to do that Would unless you, one of you the other to do, names? Do you want me to rearrange? One of the other, so yes, thank you so much. Okay. Members, are we able to do that unless one of the other names that is marked yellow stands out for you? That you. Thank you, Member Philander. Mr. Matthews, what do we have a top 20 now? Those are the top 20 names uh, ending at um at Winster on three, Chairperson. Members, I am entirely happy with that. Uh, Winster at number 20. 
Can I get an indication if there's any objections at this time? No objections from my side, Chair. Thank you so much for the record. I will read out the top 20 names that will be recommended um, to the minister. Number, <clears throat> number one would be Mr. Number one would be Mr. Umbotwe, Mr. Myers, Jama, Mutin, Ms. Abrams, Ms. Bart, Mr. Hop, Mr. Mavu Mingwana, Mr. Nokwaza, Mr. Orenser, Ms. Jansen, Mr. Joka, Mr. Najar, Ms. Dumbrell, Ms. Sami, Mr. Muletsani, Sana, Mr. Siupol, Mr. Van Blurk, and Ms. Weston, and then Mr. Winster. Colleagues, I've, I've received no objections verbally. Um, I trust that that is in order and that we are able to conclude that to be the list of the 20 names to be submitted. Um, Chairperson, um, I just uh, preemptively uh, prepared a, a standardized report, um, as can be seen, uh, and the names will follow after point three. Uh, if the committee is okay with uh, adopting this draft report. Thank you so much, Mr. Matthews. Um, the committee report in terms of the Cultural Commission, in terms of Section 4.2a, the Western Cape Cultural Commission and Cultural, of, um, and Cultural Councils Act, the Standing Committee of Community Safety, Cultural Affairs and Sport, we invited the general public to nominate persons. That was duly done within the committee set a deadline they often extended the deadline. We have discussed that in our committee to ensure that we have a wider range of nominations. And then in order to comply with Section 4.2B of the Western Cape Cultural Commission and Cultural Councils Act, the committee resolved to submit the following list of, of nominations to the Provincial Minister of Cultural Affairs and Sport. And that will be the list that I've read out verbally in the committee here today. Members, do I have any member wanting to support the, the committee report as read out? I Members? support the report, Chairperson. Thank you so much. And Member Philander. Members, that draws us to the end of the Cultural Commission. We will now head straight into the Language Committee. The Language Committee have received 21 nominees and the list of names will also then be. And the list will also then be. Flighted similar to that of the Cultural Commission. I am restarting my secondary laptop as well. Mr. Matthews, are you able to share the? Thank you so much. In terms of the language committee. If we are able to start with Ms. Orenser. Are we starting with me, Chairperson? Yes, that's correct. That's a two for me. Member Barnes. So three for me, Chair. Thank you so much, Member Thank Philander. You. Thank you. That's a two for me again. Then Miss Bartman. That's a four for me, Chair. Member Barnes. It's a two, Chair. Four, Chair. Mine is a three. Next up is Mr. Binako. It's a two for me. Member Barnes. Mm. 
Member Philander. Two from me, Che. It's a two for me as well. Member Barnes, are you ready at this stage? We will come back to Member Barnes on that one. Mr. Miss Fraser. It's a two from me. Member Barnes. Member Philander. Two Che. Mine is a two as well. Miss Gomani. It's a two from Che, I'm back. Thank you I'm so back, much. Sir, um, we are waiting for you on Binaco, Member Barnes. It's a it's a three there, Che. And Thank with you. Miss Fraser, it's a two, Che. Thank you so much. We then go to Miss Gomani. Ms. Komani is a two from each a person. Thank it's you. It's three from each a. Two che. Mine is two as well. Then we have Mr. Grootboom. Mr. Grootboom, G Grootboom for me is a four. <laughs> Member Van. Member Philander, mine is a four as well. Correct, J, four. Mr. Jama. Mr. Jama is a three from me. It's a four, J. Three, J. Three, my side as well. Miss Lint. It's a two from each a person. It's a three, J. Miss Lint. Three, my side. Um, Miss Makambi. Um, sorry, Chairperson. Um, Member Philander, I didn't catch um, your scoring for Lentz. For Lentz, it's a two. Uh, thank you, Miss Lish. Is it three from me, Chairperson? Thank you, M Member Barnes. It's a three for me, Chair. Four, Chair. Mine is a three. Then Miss Makambi. Miss Makambi is a three from me, Chairperson. It's a four for me, Chair. Three, Chair. Mine is a three as well. Next up, we have Mr. Malan. Is a two from me, Chairperson? Member it's Barnes. a five for me, Chair. Two, Chair. Mine is a two as well. Then we have Mr. Mkize. It's a three for me. Member Barnes, Member Philander. Two, Chair. Mine is a three. Then a we two, have... Chair. So sorry, Member... Barnes, we didn't hear you. Then it's Mr. Moloto. Mr. P. Moloto is a three from each a person. It's a four from each a. Three, Che. Um, mine is three as well. Member Barnes, can we just get your score for, for Mr. Mkize? It's a four, Chair. Thank you so much. Then we have Ms. Mutin. It's a four for me. Then we have um, a, a Member Barnes. It's a three, Chair. Four, Chair. Mine is three. Then we have Unkono, Mr. B. Unkono. It's a two for me, Chairperson. It's a three for me, Chair. Two, Chair. Mine is two as well. Then we have Ms. Ntleko. It's a one for me, Chairperson. So, three, Chair. 
three for Mitchell. Minus, minus two. Thank you, Member Philander. Thank you, Mr. Matthews, that you are capturing so diligently. Uh, Member Philander is a two, if I heard correctly. That's correct, uh, Miss um, Reineke. Ms. Reineke from me, Chair, is a four. It's a two, Chair. Four, Chair. Mine is a three. After Ms. Reineke, it would be A.B. Sam. Mr. A.B. Sam. Mr. A.B. Sam is a two for me. The three for me, Chair. Two, Chair. To my side. Thank you, Mr. Matthews, for capturing. We are nearing the end. It's Miss Vanka. Miss Vanka for me is a two. Miss Vanka for me it's a four chair. Two chair. Mine is a one. Miss Vermeulen. Miss Vermeulen is a four for me, chair. Three, 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 and three, my side, and then Willemse, Mr. Willemse. It's a two from me, chairperson. It's a, it's a two, chair. Two, chair. And that's a two, my side as well. Mr. Matthews, are you able to double check um, or to just confirm the amount that is legislated in terms of the language committee. Is that also based at 20? Uh, Chair, the maximum is 20. Thank you so much. Um, but you need to capacitate, uh, you can capacitate it to a maximum 11. Thank you so much, members. Are we able to then submit um, the first 20 names? Um, so it would be allowed the minister to then make uh, giving a um, sufficient names um, for this particular um, entity, the language committee. Would that be in order? It's fine with me, Chairperson. Then we need to decide in terms of Fraser, Ntleko and Willemse. I would be more than happy. I just want to check my notes in terms of. Um, I um, I need to then. Just give me one moment. Chairperson, there's basically one person that has to come out for the top 20 list. Mm, um, members, is there any comment from you at this stage? I'm just wanting to open up my. Notes on my side. Let me see. Check and the score should be displayed. Mr. Matthews will then. Are you able to see it your side? Uh, Chair, is it not being displayed? It's been on for a few um, minutes. I can see it. Okay. I can see it my side. Member Barnes, are you able to see it your side? I can see it now, Chair. I couldn't see it. Thank you, Chair. Thank you so much. Mr. Matthews, in terms of the one adjustment that I would want to do to my one, is Ntleko. Can we just go down to that one at the bottom, please? I would make my one a one there as well.
Member says there any would would any member have any difficulty with accepting that as the committee's top twenty? Are we able to just go up to the top and just read the names again? Well do. <coughs> One is Khruadbom, two is Mutin, Mr. Bartman three, then Jama, Lesh, Makambi, Mr. Moloto, Ms. Reineke, then Vermeelen, then Mr. Umkise, Mr. Malan, Ms. Orense, Ms. Lenz, Mr. Banako, Mr. Gomani, Ms. Gomani, Nkono, Mr. Sam, Ms. Fanka, and Ms. Fraser, ending off with Mr. Willemse. Member Bosman? Um, I'm just noting that Ms. Bernadette Mutin is also in the top five on the Western Cape Cultural Commission, which is number two on this list. Is that going to be a problem or? Um, it would be up to the minister to, to ultimately then decide. Okay. I hope that's in order, members. The procedural officer will then flight the report. I will read it for the record. Similar to the Cultural Commission, this is the report for the Language Committee in terms of Section 72A of the Western Cape Language Act. The Standing Committee duly invited the general public to nominate persons. We then had a deadline for the 3rd of August and they after extended this particular deadline to ensure a wider range of nominations. And in order to comply with the relevant section, the committee resolved to submit the following list of nominations to the Provincial Minister of Cultural Affairs. And it will be the first 20 names that I've read out in this committee uh, meeting for the record. Members, is that in order your side? No objections from my side, Chairperson. I support the report. Thank you so much. Members, on that note, um, the report will be duly signed in terms of the Cultural Commission as well as the Language Committee. Um, since we kick-started this process, it was a long, extensive process of re-advertising to get a wider um, audience to peruse the, um, the vacancies. Um, but also, I do want to thank each and every member of the public that have taken the time to nominate persons to serve on these two entities. These two entities serve as a pillar in terms of the of, of cultural um, of cultural um, affairs and sport. So thank you so much to the public that have nominated, but also to those members that have availed themselves. As a committee, we will then submit our list to the provincial minister for her um, determination on members to be appointed to the board. Once again, thank you so much, Member um, uh, Mr. Wasi Matthews. In terms of our committee business, I would want us to ideally um, end off in the next six minutes due to ComSafe that is commencing at half past 10. Um, are you able to flight the relevant report? This report has been circulated as well. Uh, sorry, Chair, which report? Um, um, on our on our program for today, is there a, a report that we need to adopt? You just read it out, Chair. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, Wasim, is there anything else that you need from us at this time in terms of process? Covered. Thank you so much. Member Kama, are you still with us here today? Very much so, Chairperson. Thank you so much. Member Kama, we will see Member Kama, Member Bosman, Member Philander um, at our two o'clock, um, at our half past 10 meeting in terms of interviewing the five, um, the five persons that avail themselves for the Western Cape Liquor Authority. Thank you so much to Member Lecker, um, to Member 
uh, Malikaya, that was also here, um, and Kama, thank you so much, and members, for all your hard work and for taking the time to peruse the CVs and to engage constructively. It is highly appreciated. Um, this part of our meeting is now concluded. Thank you so much. Thank you. But we are not thanking Member Barnes, Jay. Member hey. Barnes, thank you. So, so sorry, Member Barnes. <laughs> Beaufort West is represented. Thank you, Member Barnes. Thank, thank you, thank you, everyone. Okay, then. Thank you.